Hello all, welcome to Tech Tapture. Myself Vishal Bulbule, and in this session, we are going to learn more about identity and access management that is IAM. So, identity and access management is a core service of a Google Cloud, and it is central place where we can manage all the roles and permission for users and service account. So what is IAM so here the definition you can see that you can manage access control by defining who means identity and what access means role for which resources so this is a single place to manage users roles permission and service account so identity can be a person gmail's account or anything so here are identities are categorized in of six types so first is a google account so identity can be a person Google account. So suppose my account is a Vishal dot Bulbule at the rate gmail dot com or a service account. So service accounts are used in application to interact with other Google Cloud services. So identity can be a service account or a Google group. So it's a collection of a Google account or a service account or a both. So we can create a group with number of users in a single email allies and we can add this group to the particular access so this google group can be identified as a single identity or a google workspace account so it's a domain specific account and it will be treated as a identity and then the two important words are all authenticated users so when we give access to these specific all authenticated user allies it means it will give access to all the authenticated users with google's so suppose I am creating one storage bucket, I am assigning access or like view access or a complete access to bucket with identity all authenticated users. So if anyone is having a valid Gmail account can access that bucket. And last one is all users. So this will be used to identi identify anyone on the internet. So if I am giving access to the all users it means anyone from the internet can access my bucket so i purposefully marked it as a red because you should always avoid giving access to all users until and unless you are creating a web application which will be publicly available on the internet so suppose you are hosting a static website and you have put some images on the website that you want to display on the website publicly then in that case you can assign access to all users for that particular bucket so these are the types of identity now we'll see the roles and permission so just to give you a general example so suppose we have a whatsapp group and only one person is having admin role so that admin is a role and now i want to remove or like someone want to remove one person in a group or from the group or someone want to add one person in the group so only admin can remove or can add the person so that is what access level of permission so can remove and can add is the permission only admin is having so if anyone or like general users from the whatsapp group cannot add or cannot remove anyone because they are not having that permission the same way i am also works so in google cloud also there are roles and the permission assigned to each role so roles is nothing but a group of permission so there are three types of roles. So before I am came into the picture, there were only three basic roles with a GCP. One was a viewer role, another was editor and third was owner. So as name implies, these roles are specific to their name. So if user is having access, viewer access only, then user able to see or list all the resources on Google Cloud, but they cannot create, edit or delete any resources. The same similar way if user is having editor access then they can create update or delete any resources on a google cloud platform but they will have least privileges than a owner account so owner will have all the required permission on that particular project so apart from viewer editor and owner there are predefined roles so these roles are a granular access which means based on the service these roles are defined so just go to the cloud console and we'll see what are these roles and permission so let me navigate to the cloud console 
okay so this is my project now i will go to iam in my project so this is iam page i am an admin so now here you could see there are a lot of principles and there are a lot of uh, rules so every principle is having principle is identity means it can be a user service account or anything the similar way roles are having a set of permissions so if i go to roles here i first search is using used in there is filter and i will just show you first a uh, basic roles so we have this editor owner and viewer role so if you go inside the viewer role it will show you all the permissions viewer role is having so viewer role is having 2554 five, of total permission so here if you get most of the permission are get or list so they only can see the data or like list the data but they cannot edit update or create or delete any resources so similar way we will check for editor so if you go inside editor editor will have a create update and a delete permissions so here you could see there are a lot of update create delete permission for each resources that means editor can create delete or update any resources from the google cloud and the similar way the owner will have all the permissions now what is a custom role so custom roles are specific to services now let me show you one role compute instance admin so this is specific to compute resources only and it will have all the permissions required to interact with the compute resources so these are predefined roles so if i have a network team and i want to give access to network team related to network only and i don't want to give them access to the database resources or compute resources then i can use a network role similar way i can have specific roles for each services so these are predefined role and then we have a custom role so custom roles means the roles we can create and assign permission as per our need so let me show you i have created one custom role so suppose gcp june candidates is my custom role i have created and i have assigned a required permission to that role so if you go to roles here is option to create role so you can create custom role from here so suppose i am having a organization and i want to give a developers access only to develop a project product project resources but i don't want to give access to networks so i can create one group called a developer and i can give access only to required resources so i can select permission from here and there are all available permission listed so i can give only the necessary permission so using the custom role is always better when you are working in an organization or working in a productions